situation is I have a trailer that needs redeck. You'll know when you need a new deck on a trailer because it will be falling off on its own. Should be extremely easy to remove it. Once you have the deck off, grind away any flaky rust bits like this. Give it a good paint. We're gonna redeck it with some fur. Just custom make whatever dimensions we need and give it a nice new look. Of dust in here. We've got three holes per cross member every you know three or four cross members. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mount a two by three to some of these cross members. But first it's time for paint. So to summarize, the main like goal of redecking a trailer is just to strip it off and really try and reseal the, the steel, like minimum two coats. Every coat you add, it's just like another year or two in delaying the rust process, so. For the deck, I'll be using Douglas fir. Typically, uh, trailers use treated one and a half by five and a half or like two by six, basically. For me, I can just manufacture whatever I want, so I'm going with inch and a half on the edges and then I'll go full one and seven eighths full thickness on the rest of the deck. And I'm just going to give it a kind of cedar stain which will make it kind of orange in color and should help preserve it. All right so here's why we added these two by threes onto the side of these cross members. This is Mike's idea and it's genius. We've just bolted them in with a through bolt through each of these so it would be the screwing surface for the rest of the decking. And that should help kind of reduce the rusting that's occurring in the actual screws that are securing the deck. So that was like the first thing to go in the original deck here. You can see these are the uh, self-tapping metal screws that they used and they were highly rusted. So before the deck even wears out, you might run the risk of your screws rusting out. So yeah, a bunch of more painting to do today. How much paint this uh, trailer is eating up. I think I emptied about four of those little cans onto the inside here. I'm focusing on just like painting the interior of the trailer as in like places where you can't access once the deck is on. The stuff inside here I can only really get at it without the deck on so I try to focus on that stuff first. Because who knows you take a couple of days off come back deck might be on. actual hardware we have through bolts through two of these timbers underneath we've got a square washer seated against the frame of the actual trailer and then they're just tightened down with a lock nut and then that keeps it on it's quite sturdy actually and now we've got 12 inches of clearance above the deck this saves tons of time when it comes to loading and unloading logs because you have so much clearance for the forks to go underneath. That wraps up our trailer restoration project. If you enjoy restorations, just let us know down below in the comments. There's plenty of things that need restoring around here. I bet you I knocked off like 50 pounds of rust on this. Just hitting with a hammer and the rust was falling off. 
So yeah, that's good. Every bit you make the trailer lighter means more weight you can put on the trailer. So it's an extra lock.